almost took me out almost took me out hello welcome back to my channel this is women of eternity where we are god fearing god living god loving i'm natalie hello happy monday <gasps> she didn't vlog on sunday i know look yesterday rough very very rough um and i just didn't have it in me but we are here we are starting it's monday as y'all can see i'm still in my pajamas child i haven't done nothing but this week is going to be an exciting one i have exciting things coming up going on birthday dinner thursday this weekend is about to be hectic hectic back to back to back to back to back we got game nights, we got bridal showers, we we got a lot going on, child. So stay tuned, you wanna get into this vlog. I'm about to make my bed, but I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. So in case y'all were wondering, where was the bonus video last week? Here's my thing. Are y'all into them? Because I'm trying, I'm not. I'm trying not to get caught up in the performance of it all, right? However, it seemed like the YouTube wasn't showing my vlogs because like the video before it being the bonus video didn't get the traction. Like things were just slowing down entirely too much. And essentially this is a vlog channel at the end of the day. Like that's the bread and butter. And that's what a lot of y'all are here for. And so I really did want to do two videos a week for y'all, but y'all ain't watching them. So I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I need to do a poll and see what y'all are really into, but yeah. That's why there wasn't one. Because this video is about how to do life as a woman of God. Not this video, this channel is about how to do life, how to be a real woman of eternity in today, which is why I mostly do vlogs. But if y'all ain't gonna watch the other videos, I'm just not gonna make them. Y'all, it really snowed. Part of me is tempted to enjoy the beauty of the snow, but you know it's Monday, so we gotta edit. Stop. Yo, I just finished editing my vlog. See, Maryland snow will really gaslight you. Did it even snow? Are you sure you saw that? Is that what you think you saw? Maryland snow really does not stick. Not anymore, at least. I remember as a kid, we had so many snow days. No, now now it's just playing you for real, for real. But like I said, I just finished editing my vlog. Um, it's exporting, rendering right now. And I'm trying to get better at keeping the momentum going. Like I'm good to finish one task and to be like, I'm done. But no, there's a lot of day left. It's only like, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.41 p.m. It's 2.41. So we have plenty of day left. We have plenty to get done. Oh, let's, let's talk about this merch. About the merch. So I know I said I wanted to have it to y'all by Christmas. I don't know. Okay, so see, this is what happened. I changed one of the designs. And I don't want to sell something I haven't seen yet. And so... I have to order it so I can see it and then we can go from there so I want it to be by Christmas I don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys and also one of the things I look forward to as I start to make more money and such like this is gonna I really want this community to get more active more involved I want to do more stuff for y'all like the community playlist, but I'm like, who's paying for extra <laughs> music membership? 
right? Stuff like that. And so I might, I might do some polls just to see like, what are y'all interested in? What are y'all willing to do support? So this first tier, like the first tier when I get monetized, I'll be able to have like a membership, right? Um, and in that, I want to offer you guys not just content, but more like in-depth community stuff. So we'll do lives together, different things. I don't want to spill too much. Don't want to share too many of my ideas. But yes, the merch giveaway is still going to happen. I need to just finalize and get some things together you guys i'm really i'm really hoping i can have it by christmas but it's looking a little sketchy it's looking a little suspect so we shall see thank you guys for just being patient with me and still supporting me it is a process and it's crazy to think we're about to hit 100 no 1200 already already that's crazy that is crazy Y'all are the best. Y'all really are the real ones. I'm just so thankful, honestly, truly. And just just stick around. St stick beside your girl because I got plans for y'all. You guys, I'm about to have such a productive day. I just feel it. I can feel it. And let's get into the makeup. That makeup look I did at the end of last week really inspired me. Like, I'm just, I, I think I'm back into wings. I think I am. But quick outfit check. I need a better place to show y'all. But I'm just wearing this black turtleneck. I feel like the sleeves are kind of short on me. Jeans, Fashion Nova, this belt, I'm pretty sure it's from Amazon. And then my Uggs, super cute, super basic, you know. So I'm going to a cafe to work because I actually got work, praise the Lord. I got things to do. You know, any, I'm just thankful for any opportunity that comes my way. So we have things to get done. And this evening, my church is having a night of prayer at seven. And so I wanted to wear something that I could also wear to the night of prayer this evening so I don't have to change or anything. And that's also why I did my makeup because I really wanted it to last all day. And you know, I, I have a standard for being in the house of the Lord. That's just me personally. Everyone has their different feelings. I don't know. So yeah, that's hence the effort but we have things to do and let's get to it a jam session in the car if the car is not good for anything else it is good to get a jam on now we are on our way to ragamuffin cafe it looked cute i'd heard about it before i've just never been and it wasn't too far away now they do close at five so it kind of i feel like naturally just puts a time crunch on things so it's like i know i just can't be here all day um, well, that's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what it's like. Like, I really want to find more cafes and cute areas. So maybe if any of you guys are in the DMV, y'all have places to go. Stay to in work. the middle two lanes. Thank you. She loves to cut me off.
Okay, so I'm here. I'm just about to get started. It is so cute in here. Like, I love when they decorate it really nice, but I'm not gonna talk too much. We're just gonna jump in. later I just cooked dinner I made my chicken chickpea curry I've made it a few times on this channel um so I didn't feel the need to like walk y'all through it but it's reducing it's just about done and I gotta hurry up because I'm meeting my girl Johanna y'all y'all already know God is glamorous we, we talk about her we love her I am meeting up with her at my church this evening um for the night of prayer and thinking we're gonna get some content. So I did touch up my makeup, but I didn't even have to do much for real for real. Ooh, ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, shout out to D, cause in my last video, I said we're gonna hold each other accountable. We're gonna hold each other accountable and to drop in the comments what, what we're working on, what are our goals, what are we doing? She actually did that, so shout out to you sis. Come on, praying, studying after class, okay? Actually resting during her winter, focusing on God during her winter break. Like, she had so many goals. Y'all know I got ADHD, child, I'm trying to remember them. I do take screenshots so I can go back. Um, but D, shout out to you. And uh, shout out to a lot of y'all, actually. I love you guys. Like, y'all are so consistent. I be missing y'all when y'all aren't in the comps. I'm like, where'd she go? Where's good sis? Like, this is my way. Because I know a lot of y'all don't have social media. So the comment section is how we connect. It's how we stay in touch. So use it. Use it. Thank you very much. All right. Got my curry. Honestly, I'm impatient. It probably needs to reduce a little more. Yes, so. But it thickens when it cools, though. But I think it needs to reduce a little more. Almost forgot. I also got my rice. And I can't tell y'all the joy. I can't tell y'all the bliss of being able to have homemade cookies at any given moment. Literally, I just pop these bad boys out. I'll only make a couple you know, a serving size, like two at a time for myself, fire. Generally speaking, my food tastes good. I need to enter my era where my food also looks good. So I'm gonna try to plate it pretty. I guess, you know, you put the rice down first, duh. Okay. Make a mess per use. Oh, the oven's ready for the cookies. Ah, chickpeas. Okay, and then a few pieces of chicken. <laughs> Does it look good? I don't know. This is the final result. Yes, I have rice on my hands, mind your business. But I just know it's gonna taste bomb and that's what really matters. You can see everything is up from the play.
y'all i'm in such a great mood i've been working all morning it's 3 30 and i'm actually here to pick up my bridesmaids dress for aaron's wedding which is coming up soon very very soon like literally in two weeks when i said this is a busy week it's a busy week so tomorrow i'm going to dinner with Aaliyah to celebrate her birthday which just passed and then I feel like there's something going on Friday. I'm forgetting. But Saturday during the day is the bridal shower. And the evening is game night. We got a lot to do, child. We're here. Going to be on the vlog. With Miss Erin. The wifey. The fiance. <laughs> so these are the dresses. They're so pretty. Yeah, it doesn't give any. Yeah, we definitely have to try them on to see how they look. The this one is, is mine. Nice. Oh, can't wait. I didn't even mean to match low key, you know. Hey, hey, hey. So I just got back from Aaron's. It was so great seeing her. I haven't seen her since her birthday. Um, yeah, the dress, oh my gosh, it's so pretty on, but it's just giving way too much cleavage. <laughs> way, way too much cleavage. I, mm -mm, I don't do that no more. So um, I'm gonna have my mom probably take some fabric from the bottom and just bring it in. And cause I've been losing a little weight, cause I've been losing a little weight, um, the, the upper hip is a little loose. I don't know how to explain it. Like my hips sit kind of low and it's like there's extra fabric up here. Yeah. But I'm, I'm proud of me. I was feeling myself, I said, <laughs> the waist, the waist is giving, the waist is giving. Y'all, y'all know I literally gained dang near 30 pounds this year and I'm down just about 10, just about 10. So yeah, having my little nightly cookies, they're not all for me. I'm making three. One is for my dad. Um, yep. Gonna heat those up. Have a call with my spiritual mentor. And yeah. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Well, technically, it still is morning, I guess. Y'all, I had a late start, so I wasn't able to take my meds, and y'all know how that goes. It can, it can lead to a very unproductive day, but I don't, I don't want to have to rely on it. It's great that I have it and that it's helpful and it's useful and it's beneficial to me, but I need to get done what I need to get done. And I was almost about, I was almost about to stumble. Today was almost about to go downhill, but we got it together. I literally was like, no, I'm doing what I set out to do. I mean, y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen the days where I feel like I'm just paralyzed, can't do nothing. Not today. I'm like, okay, what is, what is distracting me? I'm like, first, I'm cold. Okay, let's take care of that. Turn the heat up, put the robe on. Um, I was like, I, I need some dopamine. <laughs> I need some dopamine. So I made myself some tea. This has a good amount of caffeine in it. Um, I added a little sugar. And I was like, let's let's get into the productive mood. Wipe down the countertop, just something basic. Just, you just have to get started. And sometimes starting with something really small just helps. It just, you know, starts the fire, right? And so we shall enjoy this. I got some graphics to do. I need to make a return at Sephora. The Kosas concealer that I got last week was the wrong shade. I got shade six. I need 6.5. Oh, olive. And so, yeah. And then this evening, I'm 
celebrating my bestie's birthday. Just me and her little birthday dinner or whatever. So, yeah, we got stuff to do. We ain't got time to waste. Girl, come on. Okay, I just pulled up to Kohl's. I'm about to make this exchange and then I'm so tired. Go back home. Wait, do I need to get a bag? Okay, no. I'm going to have to go to Target, get a gift bag, go home, do my makeup, take care of a couple things. Then I'll be with Aaliyah. I'm so upset. They don't have my shade. It goes from 6 to 6.2 to 7. Y'all don't believe in 6.5 here? All right. As much as I would like to say it was successful, it was not. They did not have my shade. And so I ended up just returning it and I'm gonna buy it from Sephora online because I don't have time to play around. I need what I need. Um, <laughs> so we are gonna go to Target, get the bag, and then head back home. Even though it's cold, like it's really beautiful out. Like the really super clear blue sky, the crisp wind, you know. I'm just so thankful like I have so much to be thankful for it just never ceases to amaze me God never ceases to amaze me but yeah I'm tired tomorrow not too eventful Saturday is really the day so stay tuned happy birthday to you hey vlog <laughs> Just first, wait, good morning. What the heck? <laughs> good morning, happy Friday. But what I was saying, I love super soulful, just black voices over like an acoustic set. Chef's kids. I'll be the fool if that's what they call it. Okay, so this is the dress I showed y'all yesterday at Aaron's on. But as you could tell, we need to, um, we need to make some alterations because I don't dress the way I used to anymore. And I've told y'all about modesty wasn't always my strong suit. And, you know, sometimes you just got to make it work. So we're going to try to <laughs> figure it out. Shout out to my mom who's going to help figure it out. Probably take some from the train. But, yeah. You know, there's a cost to pay for everything. And when we're trying to serve the Lord, you know, you just got to look a little different and it's fine. But we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> It's Christmas time. So we finished, I mean, we didn't finish doing the dress, but just like getting the measurements and just figuring it out because it was just giving titty galore. Just absolute, can't do that, no. Hey guys. All right, a little backstory. I just have to talk to y'all real quick. A little backstory. So I, <laughs> I've kind of been in my like musical theater bag this week or something and I came across a song called She Used To Be Mine from the musical The Waitress and I heard it and it really, really hit me hard, clearly. Um, but I was listening to it and I just started thinking about myself and where I'm at and how I think of all the versions of me. I think about the girl I was that was fearless and awkward and would do anything to make a friend who 
was crying out to God just to be normal, just to have friends. And yet somehow I was, I was so hurt by people, but I never gave up on them because I'm like, someone ought to like me, right? I think about the version of me who is just full of herself, who is just super confident and was just killing it before, you know, she started dating guys who made her feel like she's inadequate because she has ADHD and would leave her child in a hot car. A guy literally told me that he, he was concerned because one day I had left a, my purse in an Uber and he broke up with me because he said, it's too much and he's scared I would leave our child in a hot car. And, you know, I, I think about me who is just on fire and had all these cool opportunities and stuff. And then I fast forward to days like today where I'm in the midst of following my dreams. You know, sometimes we say, you know, oh, I'm just being obedient or oh, it's, it's God. But it's like, no. This is, this is my dream, you know? It's like, I was scared, so scared. I was so scared to pursue it. I stopped saying it was mine, but it's like, no. I've always loved YouTube. I've always loved people. I've always, what I wanted to do always changed, but what never changed was I'm gonna be somewhere being creative and changing lives and helping people. And I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but it's gonna happen, right? And I'm sorry, but when the mundane happens and life happens and heartbreak happens and, <laughs> you know, just all types of stuff just throws a wrench and it seems like you're going nowhere fast. And you get discouraged sometimes and you start wondering, Am I cut out for this? Like, God, are you sure you know what you're doing? Moments like this and songs like that just remind me. Me, even five years ago, would have never seen me coming. Shoot. <laughs> Me from middle school certainly didn't see me coming, but here I am. And I'm still going and I'm still trying. I can't, I can't stop trying. You don't know how many times I'm like, Lord, I just want a nine to five again. This is hard. This is hard. But what today reminded me of and what I want to remind you is, but isn't it worth it? Isn't it worth it? Yeah, it's hard. Sure, I don't know what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little inconsistent. But I'm passionate. And I'm kind and I mean it and I want it. And dang it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, things aren't tough and this isn't what I imagined when I was 26. This isn't where I thought I'd be. Single living at my daddy's house with no job. But did I imagine I'd have a YouTube channel with subscribers all over the world? Did I imagine that I'd be sharing the love of God and changing lives? No. But God is so good to me. And, you know, I've, I've gotten to chat with some of y'all and hear what y'all are going through. And I listen to your prayer requests. And life loves to throw us a curveball. The devil really be trying us. But that's okay. Because we have a faith that makes us persevere. We're resilient. There's a light that shines through us. 
Women of eternity move different. We fight a little harder. We, we dig a little deeper. Not every day is easy. Not every day is exciting. But we serve a big God who does crazy things through regular people. And he can use the most regular, boring, mundane, has-been story you ever met and change a life with it. We have to keep going. We have to do it. Whatever you're holding on to, whether it's school or parenthood or a job or whatever, whatever it is. You are so capable. God gave you that dream. God gave you that vision. It's scary because it's big, but we serve a big God. The fact that it's big is evidence that it's him. We can't allow life to get us so down that we forget how far we've come, how good he is. We see so much darkness in the world. We're like, Jesus, are you ready to come back and stuff? But it's like, no, no. There's things happening. There's still things to be excited for. There's still change occurring. There's there's beauty all around us. There's joy to be had. Man, life is hard, but isn't it worth it? And if it's this good, what is heaven like? You have to keep going. Allow this to be your motivational speech for the day. You have to keep going. You're not allowed to stop. You can't give up on yourself. You can't give up on God. You can't give up on the people who are on the other side of your yes, who are just waiting. I think about the Bible says, you know, the earth is just, it's just waiting for the children of God to be revealed. It's just waiting. It's just waiting. There's someone waiting for you. You have to do it. I have to do it. Girl, we have to do it. It has to get done. It has to happen. We could do it knowing that there's a God who loves us. I'm full. I am full right now. And yeah, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I'm even gonna tell y'all how late it is right now, child. I'm just gonna see y'all in the morning. <laughs> Hello. As I've been telling y'all all week, today is a busy day. I'm already dressed, wearing this black dress I've worn several times from Fashion Nova. And I'm just starting to get ready. I'm so excited. I was just thinking to myself, when this era of life is over and Cause like right now it's like all these friends of mine are getting married and engaged and having babies. I'm like, what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> like, am I going to have a life? What am I actually going to do with myself? And I, I did. Okay. Other thing. I wanted to apologize. I know I have been slacking with the content recently. It's like, I be filming stuff, but I get in these funks and I just don't edit it. However, however, I can't even make any excuses for y'all. I really need to clean my vanity. Like, it's atrocious. However, that's neither here nor there. Oh my gosh, for the eyes, I did this look recently. So I went in with this first and now I'm going in with this darker brown. I don't know, it's not quite latte. Child, it's just a regular look, but I love the way it came out and the placement and everything. I know some of y'all are into makeup, some of y'all aren't, but 
for the girls who are i loved this like i feel like it just made my eyes really do a number yeah so i placed that pretty high and then oh my gosh if you are my complexion this is our shadow this is the charlotte tilbury in amber gold it's basically just your complexion but shiny if you are a light-skinned olive black girl like myself this is so good and i just oh my gosh i just pop this on across the whole lid so pretty and just blend it with my finger now i have hooded eyes so without my eyes that middle part disappears so i don't worry about it too much like that and then i topped it with the color pop super shock and ritz but only in like the it's one of those wet looking stop it and i just popped it right there it's almost like oh my gosh that is Oh, it's so pretty. It's like that wet kind of look. And then I just did a brown wing with it, fire. My go-to foundation combo has been the NARS Light Reflecting mixed with the Mario foundation. First of all, it's the perfect color for where I'm at as I'm losing my tan. It looks so much like skin, just better. Fenty Cream Bronzer for my contour. Hourglass Concealer in the shade Dune. And then I'm going to set it with the Huda Beauty Powder in Banana Bread. Really clean that wing. When there's like basically no powder left, I go around the rest of my face. With my Sephora Micro Smooth, I'm just going to brush everything away. I don't leave this at all for real like not even a minute <laughs> so pretty fenty powder bronzer milani baked blush in berry amore fenty highlighter and afternoon snack this is the secret this is the key it's the derma blend lock and last water resistant setting spray and I do this before waterproof mascara. Lined my lips with Bare by Minted Cosmetics. And then going in with Charlotte Tilbury. Super fabulous. Now this is a gorgeous matte look on its own. Actually, I lied. <laughs> I'm taking Entice by Hourglass. Oh yeah. All right, so I just arrived. I'm about to sign her card and go in, enjoy the montage. Okay, one thing done, 
bridal shower was a success. It was so cute. It was at the it was out of school and she's a teacher, so it was like it was so sweet, especially getting to meet her fiance's family. But now we have to go to well, I ain't gonna lie, we're going home. My period literally started during the bridal shower, almost took me out. Almost took me out. Almost took me out. <laughs> like I was taking pictures and I literally had to like grab a seat and sit down. But luckily, someone had Advil. I had everything but Advil. I was so mad. How am I gonna have Imodium, Excedrin, gas, everything but Advil? No, we're gonna go home, get our second dose, change because i don't want to wear these heels and stuff for the game night and then we're gonna go tired getting home I did not vlog record anything at all but you know it's the end of the vlog I have really enjoyed this week chatting with you guys taking y'all with me sharing the love of God just what I got going on if you enjoyed this content like comment subscribe y'all I'm so I'm so close to getting my ties I'm so close so close like 400 hours close okay so with that being said, share this video, do what you can, spread it, rewatch it. <laughs> um, yeah, because I mean, y'all have seen the journey. I'm so glad that I'm able to document it so you guys can see what faithfulness and community and support and fellowship can really do, even if it is on the internet. I love you guys so much. If you need to give your life to Jesus, if you have felt that calling, that longing, you just know, I need to get right with him, do it. Find a good church home, get plugged into this community, and watch how God will transform things. There are people in this world to help you get closer to him. Find those people, hello, <laughs> and just let God move. I love you, Jesus loves you even more, and I'll see you in my next video.